A cloudy day in rural North Rhine-Westphalia, okay for the coal mines and wind turbines, less so for the solar tower. Which is why scientists at the German Aerospace Center have taken their research indoors. This facility gives us a consistent artificial light, which is uh, very useful, especially here in West Germany, the weather is not uh, perfect and uh, we have a very rare uh, sunlight and so we have a facility which gives us unlimited light. This is the world's largest artificial sun, composed of 149 film projection lights that together emit a beam that's a thousand times the strength of a regular household bulb and 10,000 times the strength of the sun's rays here on Earth. And scientists here can use it to test the solar power instruments of the future. This is one of our first experiments and a typical one. It's solar hydrogen reactor. In this reactor we want to uh, develop processes on splitting water uh, from solar energy to store this energy and to make it available in fuels uh, in future. When we focus the light to one point then uh, we think we can reach temperatures around 3000 degrees Celsius. So this is more than combustion processes can generate. The hope is that this facility can improve the efficiency of solar energy reactors, but with the oil price still relatively low, commercial interest in its research may take some time. Joe Miller, BBC News, Ulich.